What's the significance of the number 32 for you? That's the age I was when I got out of prison. You know, I was 32 years old. I went in at 21, 22. <laughs> and I thought I was going to die in prison, dog. You know, and when I came home, everybody had a hot boy Twitter page, a Facebook. So I had to like, man, you know what? I'm 32 years old. Let me just add 32. And that just stuck. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that was. That's how old I was. Yep. Matter of fact, October 12th, made four years I've been home from prison. And a lot of people still don't know. But Hot Boy Turk is out of prison, man. I'm here. I just gained a little weight. But guess what? I lost 15 pounds. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. Straight up. Now, I've been seeing stuff in the news that they're getting rid of uh, the privatization of prisons. They need to. Was the one you were held in a, a private? Everything pr private. And when it's private, everybody got to make money. So if they get money off of every inmate throughout the year, like the boxes and the drawers and the shoes that they're supposed to give us, they're not supposed to charge us for that, but they charge people for that. They're supposed to give you that. They'll give you three pair boxes, three T-shirts, but they're supposed to give you that. If you, What if you don't have no family? But they charge you for this stuff. And you got to be declared indigent for either to, to qualify to get it. If I don't got nothing, I'm indigent. I don't have it. But they bring you through a process because it's privatized. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had these shares in it. So it's all about money, man. They make so much money per inmate a day. A day. It's a big corporation, man. It's a big corporation. You know, and they steady locking up people that's that's innocent, man. They locking up innocent people, man. They locking up people for little roaches of weed. I think they changing the law now. They locking up crackheads. They smoke crack, man. They ain't distributors. You know what I'm saying? I was a heroin addict. I shoot heroin. But they are penalizing add perks to it because we was that. I was I was convicted of a possession of a firearm. Being a drug addict in possession of a firearm. Is that a damn law? But that's what I was convicted of. I was convicted of a convicted felon in fire on possession of a firearm, a fugitive in possession of a firearm, and a drug addict in possession of a firearm. Of the same fucking firearm. I took the feds to trial because, hey, man, you know, I got found guilty. They gave me 120 months. It sounds good, but that's 10 years. You know what I'm saying? It's all financial gain for them. You know, so if they getting rid of that, that's a good thing. You ain't gonna see a lot of people locked up. You took it to trial. If you didn't take it to trial, what was the alternative? They offered me 51 months. I hadn't been out 27 months. But when you innocent, I didn't try to kill no police officer, you know. I didn't try to kill no police officer. The police came in my house as the robbers. If they would have knocked and announced on my door, I'm going to open the door. What I got to hide? But when you come in my house like you the robbers, oh, you got to, hey, man, I don't know who you is. You got on ski masks and all black. Yeah, I don't know who you is. So that was my argument. But when you're going against the police, it ain't no self-defense. And that was why I was charged. It ain't no self-defense, you know. And um, I did my time, man. You know, it is what it is. I ain't. I cried about it. I'm, I cried about my time because I was innocent the whole fucking time. You know what I'm saying? But it made me a better man. I ain't snitched to get out. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't snitch. I was the man. I was the one they wanted any motherfucking way. You know. And um. I did my time, man. It made me a better man, so I appreciate y'all for bringing me through that process. Y'all clean me up. I'm about to take over. Why ain't he the mop? Now, uh, you have a past criminal history prior to the shootout with the police? Yeah. So did that have something? Like, let's say you had a clean record and this same situation happened. Do you think you probably could have? I was a rapper. So if you're a rapper against the police, Oh, your ass true. I just live to tell it. 
They shot 52 times in my house. The reason why I know that because the entrance and exit holes at my trial was 52. That's why I have the documentary 52 Bullets. I have a song called 52 Bullets. By the grace of God, I'm still living. There is a God, y'all. If I ain't say nothing to this interview that y'all, there is a God. If you look at my documentary and I show you the closet that I was in, I should have been dead. You know, and I just thank God, man, because he have a bigger, it's, it's something big. I don't know what it is, but I'm just living, I'm just living, man, you know what I'm saying, and letting God work through me.